Hello there, I'm Charlie, aka Ronan Logan X, and this is Ronan Logan X Reviews. In this video, I'm taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Deluxe Boba Fett from The Book of Boba Fett. Now, I really appreciate this redesign of his armor, so I was really looking forward to getting this figure when it was announced. And in my opinion, it doesn't disappoint, for the most part. So let's check it out. Starting with accessories, he comes with his jetpack, a blaster pistol, a blaster rifle, and his helmet, which is removable. In my opinion, this is a pretty neat assembly of accessories, although I do have a few minor complaints. The first is that the jetpack doesn't plug into his back securely. It easily pops out as I try to move him around and pose him, causing me to constantly have to stop and put it back in, or just leave it until I've finished placing him in the pose I've selected for him. My second minor issue is in regards to his blaster rifle. Whether it's due to the shape of the blaster's grip or the shape of the hand with the trigger finger, I found it extremely difficult to place the blaster rifle into his hand so that he's gripping it properly. So difficult, in fact, that I had to pause the video and take the time to place the blaster into his hand properly while taking care to not damage the figure. Now, I make mention of this because I have previously released Boba Fett figures who come with a very similar blaster rifle and I don't remember having anywhere near this type of difficulty getting those rifles into these older figures hands. Now by no means is this a deal-breaking issue I just wanted to make mention of it because it really is that difficult. And I wanted to forewarn people so that they don't risk breaking the figure or the blaster rifle. And my final issue is not so much with any of the accessories packaged with the figure. It has more to do with the fact that this figure was marketed as a deluxe figure. In my opinion, the amount of accessories that he comes with does not merit that bump up in price and labeling of deluxe. In fact, I want to say that he comes with the exact same amount of accessories that I believe came with the Gaming Greats release of Django Fett. Now, I'm aware that this gripe is more of a personal dissatisfaction with Hasbro as a company than the figure itself, but I just wanted to make mention of that. Moving on to articulation, this figure features all of the articulation that you would expect from a Star Wars The Black Series figure, as well as the added touches that they've been introducing lately with their newer figures. So no complaints there. I'm very happy with the articulation on this figure and would probably label it as super articulated for a Black Series figure. If I had to pick out any sort of negatives regarding the articulation, it would have to be that one of his arms suffers due to the cords that run from his shoulder to his gauntlet, making some of that articulation moot, but that's a very minor complaint. Finally, we have the likeness to take a look at. And as far as likenesses go in the Black Series, I'd have to say that this one is pretty good, but not great. The sculpt of the head itself is pretty fantastic, and I want to say that it was the same one used for the Nomad Boba Fett figure. However, where it falters is the paint applications. I don't know if this is just an issue with my particular version of the figure, or if it's a widespread issue, but the paint highlights for the scars on his face are way too white, almost to a distracting degree. I feel like they should have either casted the head in a lighter plastic or darkened up the scars on his face. But as it currently stands, those scars just don't look good and drag down an otherwise pretty great head sculpt. Fortunately, displaying him with his helmet on is an option and it's one I'm going to take in this instance. So with all of that said, even with my gripes about the figure, I would still give this a high recommendation. Although, with the caveat that I would recommend trying to get this on sale. Because, as I said, I don't think that this is worth the deluxe price. But, I've got to admit, it looks pretty awesome in my Bounty Hunters section on my shelf. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have found it helpful and informative in any decisions you might have regarding the purchase of this figure. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please comment, please subscribe, and ring that bell icon if you would like to be notified about any of my future videos. Also, if you might be interested in anything else of mine, you can find me on Instagram at RonanLoganX, 
where I post toy photography pictures as well as puppy pictures of my pup Ripley. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.